What you guys got another video here for you. Windows 10 is now to automatically block potentially unwanted programs or apps by default. Now this should have been done a long time ago. What are pups and what is it all about? Well, let's go into our privacy and security here and look at Windows security. Inside here, we're going to see an area which we can click on, which is open Windows security. You should now see down here app and browser control. If we look at reputation based protection and click on this, you're going to see a lot of these now will be automatically turned on. And this is a good thing. Uh, smart screen and also potentially unwanted applications blocking. This is another good thing. I'll show you how it all works and basically what it means to you as a consumer who uses Windows 10 on a daily basis. Now, obviously, this will be obviously rolled out to Windows 11 as well as I'm on Windows 11 here. So when we search for a particular program, say, for instance, this program here, you'll see up the top right hand side, smart screen will automatically block certain programs. And the reason for this, it's been identified as a potentially unwanted application. Now, you can still keep the application by clicking on the three dots and keeping it. But what a potentially unwanted application is, is a open candy it means this program has been bundled with other programs so when you go to install it if you're not careful it will install other programs that you never asked for and basically you're going to end up with loads of other programs being installed and this could be browsers add-ons uh, all sorts of uh, programs that are attached to this and some of these can be malicious so you have to be careful now, if we go to uh, the search engine here and do a search for this program here, I'll show you what Open Candy is. I'm not going to install it, just going to show you. Basically, what this does is companies like these will uh, get their software and to help keep the software free, they bundle loads of other software inside of it. So when you're installing it, it will have little tick boxes in there saying install WinZip and this and other sorts of programs that you never asked for to be installed in the first place. Some people skip across here or they don't understand it and they end up installing loads of other programs, just like that pop-up box there, which was trying to put WinZip on my system. And this is how they make their money. And this is how they basically get these programs on your system. So if you fix PCs for any length of time, you'll probably know that these people will say, I never installed this program. I don't know how it got on the system. This is how they get on the system. They basically get on because your negligence of not being careful of what you're actually installing. And this has been a problem for a long time. Windows 10 is pretty good at blocking a lot of stuff. But let's take a look at the end license agreement here, which is the EULA. We can have a look here and see uh, what it's going to actually do. Now, this software company, as you can see here, is part of the Open Candy network. And if we pull it down a little bit further here, you'll see basically what Open Candy means. So let me just come down a little bit further. You have to scroll through here, and there we go. Uh, this installer uses Open Candy Network to recommend other software you may find valuable during the installation of this software. Open Candy collects non personally identifiable information about the installation and recommends a process collection of the information only uh, that occurs during the installation. So you can read here. Basically, you can click on this link and it will tell you what your privacy concerns are about open candy now the problem i have with that is that if you're in the open candy network that means other companies can join it and have their uh, software installed on your system and force that installation of their software on your system without your consent which means it's your negligence of just skipping through and basically clicking on it downloading from unreliable sources or other sites like these you can see they're now being blocked uh, by Windows security, it's saying potentially unwanted application. This means there could be possibly Open Candy inside that executable file with other programs there. And this is what you have to look out for. So they are starting to block these now, which is a very good sign uh, for Microsoft to implement this. And I think it's pretty good that they're doing it because so many people end up with uh, Open Candy or malicious software on their system. You can see here, if we zoom in here, I'll quickly show you exactly what this is saying is basically blocking uh, this uh, file name. You see, Windows cannot access this specified device path or file. It's basically being blocked by Windows security. Now, you can approve it if you want to by going into uh, the Windows security, and I'll show you that in a second. 
but I just wanted to show you basically how they're implementing this now on Windows 10 and probably Windows 11 as well. So if we go back into Windows uh, Security, uh, go to Privacy and Security, and then go back into Open Windows Security here, you'll see a little yellow uh, triangle here, and that's because it's being flagged. We can now review this and basically open this up. You can see there's some information here. It's asking us to do a quick scan, and also we can have a look at the potentially unwanted app, and it will give you all the information about it. It says Open Candy, and it will tell you all about it right here. It'll ask you for some actions, what you want to do, whether you want to uh, keep it, delete it, whatever you want to do with yours. It says low, and that's because it's trying to put these programs onto your system. Some of them are going to be a lot higher than this one, uh, but if you just want to get rid of it, you can just basically change the action to de delete or remove, and it will remove that from your computer. Now, people can trash Windows 10 all they like, but it's a very secure operating system when it comes to blocking stuff. And that's why you don't see any malware infected or infested PCs anymore. And that's because Windows 10 is a lot more secure than what Windows XP or Windows 7 was. They were super easy to infect. And as a PC technician, I can't remember how many PCs I removed malware from because it was always laced with tons and tons of different malware. You'll very rarely see it on a Windows 10 system now. All you're going to see is open candy and adware and stuff like that, which can be a bit of a nuisance, but it's not the worst. Now, it doesn't make it uh, immune from ransomware attacks, so you have to still be ultra careful with ransomware. But once you've done your scan, it should remove all of that from your PC. Let's go ahead and download, say, this particular file here, which is a common file that people use, and we'll go to the download section. Why am I showing you this one? It's because these are also packed with uh, open candy. You can see how long it's taking now to download the file because Windows security is literally scanning the file to make sure that it is clean and safe for you to install. This is an, an added feature that they've added in, which makes it a little bit longer to, for the file to come down. You can see it's still not completed. And the reason for that is because it's potentially unwanted application and you can now dismiss it or you can keep it or get rid of it, whatever you want to do. So let's open it up and show you exactly what that is. So let's click yes here, and I'll quickly show you what Open Candy is on this one here, so you can get an idea of how this thing works. So we're going to open this up, and we're going to go to here, and we're going to click next. Once we click next, it will take us to the next screen. So we'll just skip through here, and we'll skip through this part here, just go to the next part and this is the agreement so we're just going to agree to this and go next and now you'll start seeing it wanting to install software on the system offer uh, for quick driver updater so that's another program they want to slip onto your system and this is how they end up getting money for using this free program by slipping these onto your system there's another one on the here as well and there'll probably be another one as well and they can add as many as they like. And these will always sometimes slip onto the system. And this is how they get their programs on your PC. So you can download without putting these programs on and skip through these. But sometimes people just make mistakes and they end up putting stuff on their browsers, installing browsers and other applications, as you can see here. So let me quickly cancel out of this. And I'll quickly um, show you the next thing I wanted to show you. So we'll say yes here and close this off. Now, because of spyware and adware and these types of programs are the most common nowadays for Windows 10, how do you get rid of it? Well, Malwarebytes bought a program off of a particular person called ADW Cleaner, which is still a very good tool for removing all of these adware type programs. And you can use this for free and you can run it on your PC and it will remove any sort of pups, adware and other pre-installed software on the system, which is known as malicious. So you can come on here and go into your settings. And if you're having major issues, I would advise you to toggle these on if you're really badly infected with adware and other stuff like that. And this will reset your TCP IP, reset your browser and all that sort of stuff and get rid of a lot of this uh, nasty uh, adware from your PC. And it can slow down your PC. You may be getting ad 
pop-ups all over the place, redirects in your browser. And this can happen uh, by installing the software on your system by accident. Now, once the scan has been complete, it's going to give you the option to run your basic repair, which is all of those switches that we toggled on. You can either skip this basic repair if you're not having that many issues or if you haven't had any files detected. But if you have got files detected, it's always best to run those uh, fixes there to try and uh, fix your system. So go back into settings and you can go back into the application and you can also remove ADW Cleaner as well from the computer. This will also delete all the quarantine files from your PC. Now we've only run one program, which is basically ADW Cleaner to remove any spyware, adware and other stuff like this from the PC. Now Malwarebytes have their own program, which is basically an antivirus program now. It used to be just for malware, but now they've sort of made it into an antivirus program, which I preferred when it was just a malware scanning tool. And you can download this and install it on your PC. And basically what this will do is run scans for malware and other types of nasties on your PC and try to remove them from your PC. My pet hate for this particular way of installing it is it's installing the 14 day trial version, which means after 14 days, it goes back to being a free program, which is an on-demand scanner. On-demand scanners are excellent for a second opinion when you want to run a scan on your PC for malware or other types of uh, malware after you've run your initial scan from your main uh, antivirus program. But when you're installing the 14 day trial version, it's going to give you real time protection, which means it's working in the background and it's going to keep you protected. Whereas the on demand scanner doesn't do anything. It basically just sits there and you have to run a scan physically to test whether you have malware on your system. Whereas the real time protection is going to give you protection all the time when you're browsing and other things like that. That is the difference between the two here. But it still means that you can run a scan on your system if you're infected with malware and other types of nasties on your PC, Trojans and other things. So it's always worth doing a scan like this. Now, obviously, if you are heavily infected, you may need to do more scans with different programs and do more investigation and physically manually remove malware from the system if you're trained and good enough. If not, it's time to reset your PC back and reinstall Windows. But you can see it's found a lot of pups here and that's because they've been downloaded and installed or they've been sitting in the downloads area and things like that. Now, if you've already got an antivirus program installed on your PC, then you don't want to be installing the premium 14 day trial version because that is now going to be putting two antivirus programs on your PC and that can cause problems. Now, there's another program which used to work years ago called Unchecky. I don't know how successful it is today in 2021, but what this does is basically runs on the PC. And anytime you install any program, it will remove the checks from those checkmark boxes and stop you installing the open candy on your PC. Now, another issue I see with people is loading up their browser with loads of browser extensions. And this can slow down your browsing experience and also some of these browser extensions can collect data and harvest data for what you're doing on the internet. So be very careful with which ones you actually install. And uh, Google is constantly vetting a lot of these uh, malicious extensions that do manage to get on there and remove them from their you know, library. So be careful because there is some malicious ones on there and they have just removed about 100 malicious fake Google browser extensions from their library. Anyway, I think that's going to be about it basically on pups and potentially unwanted programs and how Windows 10 is blocking those on your PC. I think it's only going to get better from now on. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. A big shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. Your names are rolling up on the screen and I shall see you again for a new video real soon. Bye for now.